Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, back to my channel. Hey, guys, I got something interesting today. It's kind of going to be a, a step three project. Uh, I've been using a Cisco N900, the newest router, dual band. I'm not completely satisfied with the performance. Uh, you can tell by my channel, I'm obviously a pro Apple. Um, so I decided it was time to invest in the time capsule. Uh, it's the two terabyte model. That's got, you know, the Wi-Fi built in. Um, as well as I'm going to add an Airport Express just to extend my network. It's I'm not going to use the internet connection on the back, the Ethernet. I'm just going to use it as simply a base station extender. Um, and finally, went ahead and got an Apple TV. I used uh, Western Digital, the new Media Live with the one terabyte drive built in. I like that. Uh, I'm going to like this more because of AirPlay from the iPad. Uh, and my iPhone 5 I think will be real beneficial on my big screen as well as getting uh, I've recently started buying movies from iTunes so I think that'll be cool um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to get these opened unboxed I'm going to set these up um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit how to with your Mac you know get these connected which is very seamless they find each other um, there's just a few configuration password um, and that's really about it uh, we'll get the Apple TV set up and then we'll uh, do a few demos like AirPlay, um, how the Airport Express hooked up as a base station, um, as well as the overall time capsule, uh, you know, like performance, reviews, specs, things like that. Um, and like I said, uh, this is part one, just kind of an intro, what we got, um, the project, where we're headed. Uh, we're going to add that to all this creation, which, you know, was, um, like I said, the Mac Mini um, and the Retina, newest 15-inch MacBook, um, the newest Mac Mini with the i7. Um, I want to have those seamlessly back up uh, wirelessly as opposed to using my USB 3.0 uh, Western Digital through the Thunderbolt because that requires me to either switch Thunderbolt from the Mac Mini to the Retina. I just don't like that solution. I'd rather have something a little more fluid. Um, and I think Apple delivered it with this product. Price on it, I certainly hope. It is a full-featured uh, Airport Extreme Wireless dual band, so that will be nice. 2 terabyte drive. Apple calls it server grade storage hard drive. We'll see what that's built because past reviews on these time capsules indicate hard drive failure right about the time of warranty. So I'm not sure how they were using them to access. I know this is the newest version, newest model. So like I said, this is part one, kind of the intro, the spread, kind of what we're going to be doing. Uh, part two, we'll get into the unboxing. Uh, part three will be kind of the setup. And part four will be our post setup you know, specs, reviews, features, airplay, kind of just how it's been working. So uh, be looking for that. Uh, please subscribe and thank you.